the Steris OR Locate solution is indicated for use as an adjunct technology for recording, tracking, and counting RFID tagged surgical sponges, towels, and other tagged items used during surgical procedures in which counting is required. In addition, OR Locate provides a non invasive means of detecting retained RFID tagged surgical sponges, towels, and other tagged items within a surgical site. The system is comprised of two components the hardware and the surgical sponges. The hardware components include the panel PC, which is the user interface, the hub read, which is used to count in and out sponges, a locator wand that is used to locate a missing sponge in the trash, linen, or patient, and the reader box provides communication between the panel PC hub read and locator. The surgical sponges have a unique RFID chip sewn into each sponge or surgical towel. Only Steris supplied RFID sponges and towels can be used with the OR Locate system. Steris provides these in various sizes and plies to support the procedural requirements. They are available as single sterile packs or as surgical packs. Surgical packs will provide a variety of sponges and towels to support specific procedures. To begin a surgical case, tap the OR Locate icon in the middle of the screen. Next, the circulator and scrub technician need to log into the system. Each position will be provided their own login card, but for today's demonstration, we will use the same login card for each position. Begin by touching the circulating field and swipe the card across the back or front of the hover read. This will log in the circulating nurse. Repeat these steps to log in the scrub technician. Next, enter the case number by touching the case number field and entering it from the on-screen keyboard. Complete these same steps to enter the surgical room number. After completing these steps, press the Next button to continue. Now that you have logged in, you will see the main user interface on the display. The window at the top left corner of the display supports the counting in and out of sponges from the surgical case. If a missing sponge or towel occurs, the window in the lower left corner will be used to initiate the locator wand and identify any missing RFID tagged sponge or towels found. Finally, the vertical window on the right is the activity window that will show all OR locate activities that occurred throughout the surgical case. Touch the count in button in the upper left hand window to count in sponges or towels. We will use the hub read to count in the sponges. Sponges can be counted in two ways. You can wave the pack across the back of the hub read, or you can remove the hub read from its cradle and wave it over the closed surgical packs. The back of the hub read will show the total number of sponges counted in. The panel PC will show a detailed list of the different types of sponges and towels scanned. When all items are scanned in, press the Confirm button on the screen, and the total is shown in the Sponges and Towels window. It is important to note that you must still complete a manual count to ensure all sponge and towel totals counted into the OR Locate system are verified. You will repeat the count in process if additional sponges are needed throughout the case. To see a detailed list of the items scanned, tap the icon in the upper right-hand corner of the window. A screen will display to show the detailed list of sponges and towels. To return to the main interface, press the Back button. To perform a final countout at the end of the case, you will press the Count Out button on the screen. A detailed list of the items you counted in will appear on the following screen. Next, the hub read would be removed from the cradle and used to scan over the used sponges. The back of the hub read will count down and display the sponges or towels left in the field. The panel PC will show the count out and removal of the sponges and towels from the surgical case. In the event that you have a missing sponge, as shown on the screen, the locator will need to be used to determine the location of the missing sponges. Press the locator button in the lower window to turn on the locator wand. Remove the locator and look for the missing sponge by waving over the trash, linens, or patient. 
When using the locator in the sterile field, the sterile drape will need to be applied over the locator and cord to protect the sterile field. When a sponge or towel is located, an audible beep will sound from the locator wand. Once the sponges are located, you need to count them out with the hove read. This is an important step because the locator will not count out sponges, but only locate them. Repeat the previously discussed step to count the missing sponges from the surgical case. Notice that all sponges have been removed from this surgical case. Finish the count out by pressing OK in the window's lower right corner. The sponge counts have now been reconciled and all case activity is listed in the activity window. With the sponge count out complete, press End Surgery to close out this case. An End Surgery confirmation appears. If everything looks correct, select Yes. The surgical case is now stored on the panel PC for future access if needed. If wound packing is performed during surgery, OR Locate provides a way to track these sponges in between cases correctly. In this scenario, we have counted out all the sponges except for two that will be used as wound packing in the patient. To log these as wound packing sponges at the end of a case, click the wound packing button and the wound packing screen will appear. Three tabs are located across the top of the screen. Scan wound packing items mark wound packing items, and load previous case. Click the Scan WP items. You will scan the patient with the locator wand to locate the two wound packing sponges. Audible tones from the locator wand will indicate the sponges were found. Review on the screen of the OR locate that the wound packing sponges are correct and click the Confirm button. When you end surgery, a pop-up box will appear to confirm the wound packing data. Click Confirm if correct, and the End Surgery confirmation will appear. Click Yes to confirm and close the case. To reconcile a wound packing sponge, you will start on the user interface and tap Wound Packing. When the wound packing screen appears, you can search for a previous case by pressing the tab marked Load Previous Case. Next, click the drop-down arrow on the case number field to locate and select the previous wound packing case. Once the case is chosen, a pop-up window will appear and shows the sponges designated for wound packing. If correct, press Confirm. These sponges have now been added to the new surgical case. Additional sponges can be counted into the case by selecting the Count In button and using the Hove Read to scan in the new sponges or towels. At the end of the case, you will perform a final count to confirm that all sponges and towels have been accounted for. The count out screen and hove read now display zero and the OK button can be selected. Select the End Surgery button and the End Surgery confirmation window appears. Confirm that you want to end the surgery by pressing Yes. Thank you for your purchase of the Steris OR Locate Solution System. If you have any further questions about how to operate this system, please contact your local Steris representative. We would be happy to assist you with any additional requests.